Hello everyone, we're back with another unboxing today. We got something pretty special. It's the Yes From A Page box set. It's a new release that just came out. It's only available on their website, released on Yes Records, uh, October 25th, 2019. Um, it's, an, it's a box set that collects the era or the time period that is of the Oliver Wakeman years, the keyboard player at the time, actually replacing his dad, Rick Wakeman, in the band. It's from 2008 to 2011, and the vocals at this time were done by Benoit David. Uh, John Anderson, original singer of Yes, was sick at this time and was not part of the group. But um, uh, so Yes has been doing some pretty interesting things here, going back into their catalog and um, releasing old material or, or revising stuff, doing remixes, some things like that. So if you recall in 2018, uh, they, they released this, the Fly From Here Return Trip album, which replaces Benoit David's vocals on it with Trevor Horn, who was the producer at the time. So in essence, they created a 1980s drama era lineup album. It was a tribute to Chris Squire, who had died in 2015. Uh, that album, or this album, the, the uh, Fly From Here Return Trip, of course, uh, was based on this, the 2011 album. Uh, this is the original album cover of it, and you know, there's the, the alternate of it. Uh, this is a highly recommended piece if you don't have it. Um, but this album, Fly From Here, which does have Benoit David's vocals on it, was an album that Oliver Wakeman had worked on but did not record. The reason why is they decided to revisit the song Fly From Here, which was from the 1980s drama era, and they brought in Trevor Horn to produce, and he suggested that they get their keyboardist from that time period, Jeff Downs, to work on it since he had co-written that. So at that time, Oliver Wakeman was not part of it. He was released from the band. But what was not well known at that time is that Oliver Wakeman and the, the lineup of Yes did actually record. And so that's what we have here. And when I say record, uh, studio tracks, I mean. So that's what we have here. The From a Page box set includes four tracks that have not been released from that period. Um, some of the stuff that Oliver Wakeman wrote and worked on uh, did appear here on Fly From Here. But the tracks that he submitted to the band for inclusion that he wrote himself uh, or what is included here on the from a page. So uh, right off the bat, take a look at this. Uh, very interesting, of course, it has the Roger Dean artwork, which we all love and know that he does predominantly every Yes album there is and gives them a, a signature style. As soon as you see this artwork, you know that it has to do with um, the rock band Yes. So this is a clamshell box, logo and name and everything on it here, and clamshell by meaning it opens like this. Uh, so this is the start of what you see in the content of it here. Um, so the, the first thing that's, that's in here, we've got the, the booklet is the From a Page booklet, which is uh, really nice here, a, a unique booklet that's just to this set. And it's got some great photos of the lineup at the time and a, and a really good history by Oliver Wakeman about his time in the band. Oliver Wakeman spearheaded this and put it together and, and then submitted it to the band to, uh, to get their approval before going any further and then ultimately releasing it. But the whole package and everything was, was done under his supervision, which is really great uh, to have somebody from that era actually doing this, somebody who's got that passion and that love. And so that's the booklet from it. And then we've got the album itself from a page. It's actually an EP because it's four tracks. It's uh, about 25 to 30 minutes long, which is a good listen for those four tracks. There's the back side of that. And of course they're done like replica vinyl sleeves. And then we've got the uh, uh, Live From Lion or the, the um, In The Presence Live From Lion is the full title of that uh, booklet. And it is the same as the booklet that they released at the time, because uh, this, this release, the live release, has been out there. They just decided to compile it and put it together with this as like an anthology series so that you can get all of the Oliver Wakeman years, uh, the 2008 to 2011 period, which is great to, to get the touring stuff and the studio stuff all in one package here. And then in, there's uh, two albums for that live, all again done like the replica uh, vinyl packaging itself. And uh, of course, uh, all of this, the, the five items that are here then all contain uh, within this uh, clamshell box. Um, 
So again, pretty interesting uh, release itself. Um, and again, if you like what's going on here and you like what we're doing here with these things, please comment, please subscribe, let me know your thoughts on this and uh, hope to be able to continue to do things like this. Hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you real soon. Take care.